Hey guys, it's George. Welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be reacting to K-pop's worst styling eras. This is a video by Eunice. It currently has just under 135,000 views and it was uploaded just under a year ago. I can't wait to see who's included in this video and I feel like this is a great video to add to our series of the most controversial K-pop fashion. K-pop fashion sucks. We'll make it a trilogy. <laughs> If you want to learn more about my fashion background, I've left a little blurb in the description box. You can go read that at your own leisure, but let's just get into K-pop's worst styling eras by Eunice. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> oh my God, this, oh wow. <laughs> Wendy's Muppet top. <laughs> It's the laugh, it's infectious. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be attempting to roast the worst eras of K-pop groups with respect to styling. I asked you all to send me some eras on a Google form. Oh, you've all sent them in. To this will be interesting to see it from a Remember fan's perspective. Remember that like an outfit or an era in regards of styling doesn't equal to me hating on a group or an artist. With that being said, let's get into it. <laughs> We're starting with Zim Zella Bim. Zim Zella Bim. Are you ready? I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I gave you guys my thoughts and opinions on Zim Zella Bim in my Red Velvet Marathon. Let's see what Eunice has to say. Oh my god, what is this app? First and most popular candidate on this list of mine First is none other popular. than Zim Zella Bim by Red Velvet. Now, this was definitely an interesting era, yes, and fitted well with the interesting song that Zim Zalabim was. I actually found some of the styles quite interesting and daring, and are- Interesting and daring are the perfect words, and it does fit with the song perfectly, but like I said in my reaction, just because the song's wild, the aesthetic is wild, it doesn't mean that you need to piece like everything that doesn't correlate in an outfit to match that vibe. And I feel like that's what they did. Appreciate Red Velvet for experimenting that much to embody the song and its concept to the fullest. But what in the frickety frackety fucking <laughs> world with the Wendy Green rug outfit? It reminds. So you guys in the comments told me that they made this top for Wendy out of a bag. Out of a bag. Why would you do that to her? Why? It should have been left as a bag, and the bag should not have been made. Me oh, and, dusters, and I don't like that lol and the carpets that they made joy wear. Yeah, I'm not going to forgive red velvet stylists for that. <laughs> I believe but red velvet actually stage, have a new stylist. Gave joy that orange it says dress. it all. It made several points and was one of her iconic looks. Yeah, he looked oh, like a princess on that day too. Too much, too much going on with Zim Zalabim. In the comments section of my Red Velvet Marathon, a few of you guys said that you liked the styling more because it went with the song. So it's a subjective thing as fashion always is, but I would have I would have done it a lot, a lot differently. Fire trap. We will come to the outfits in a minute. First of all, tell me what's up with Mark and Yuta, who electrocuted these poor boys. Another reason to see SM Entertainment. I feel like not. Stop, someone's put Yuta's head on the end of Harry Potter's broom. That is savage. Not only but Mark I'm dead. And Yuta, I'm but dead. everyone's hair looked so bad this era they were either fried or had some patches left here and there. I long. mean, anyways, back to the horrible horror. You guys have told me so much about Fire Truck. I need to see this era. And some of you said that the promotional outfits are even worse. I'm thinking of doing a video on that. Please let me know if you want to see that in the comments. I actually feel bad because I remember someone told me in the comments section as well that Mark said that he felt very insecure and self-conscious during this era because of the way that his hair was done, the clothes that they were made to wear. So like, I do feel for them. But also, what the fuck? Why would you do that? Why? Horrible dressing for this era. The outfits, the color themes, Fuck the hairstyles no. like there isn't one. Mark's hair, honestly, what have you done to this poor boy? Thing that I can put my finger Fuck on no. and say, yeah, that seems acceptable. I can deal with that. But no, they just didn't leave any space for that lol. 
I mean I get that they were going for a quirky concept, but the outfits could have been way better I mean, that flip than sick, what they gave but... the boys for this era. Spe Nothing goes! Nothing goes. The only outfit in this set that is acceptable is Taehyung's in the middle. That outfit is quite nice. Everyone else has been played. Especially Mark. Jesus fucking Christ. The dungarees with like the orange jean underneath the three quarter length hem. Oh my god. Oh my god. I I did not know it was this bad. Why am I clutching my breasts? <laughs> no. No. Actually, what in the world are those skirts? I'm all here for skirts on boys, but these just didn't look good one bit. Jesus the fucking Christ. I'm gobsmacked. I honestly am. And <laughs> I really should not be laughing at this check fabric because it's just making me think of um, Win Win's Milf Hunter shirt. Ooh, metallic silver trousers with braces and a belt. Braces and a belt. I can't. I actually can't. I don't think I can post this. Wow. The outfits overall were too baggy, had no color coordination had no element that made it stand out and just didn't go out well with other members' outfits. Which is how it should be. I guess that's enough slandering of fire truck. let's move on to the other era. I feel like I need to take a deep breath. Have a sip of water and calm down, oh my god. Okay, let's continue. Boom boom. This song was a bop and a half with such a I huge bouncing choreography. But of course, since we can't have anything good happening with something to make it bad simultaneously, Momoland stylists had to go out of their way and give Momoland the shortest of shorts. Yeah, I was going to say it's been very short. Better if they hadn't ruined it by playing stunts on the girls, especially when few of them were still minors, they mm, had zero yeah, sense of okay. practicality when. They gave shorts to the girls without any safety shorts underneath to prevent nah. them from. Mm -mm. Like the outfits themselves are not bad. They're not the best outfits I've seen for an era. But as Eunice is saying, they are incredibly short. And the fact that these girls, some of them are minors, no, it was not going to kill anyone to add an extra two, three inches to a hemline. On. All I'm saying is why didn't they use a theme that followed the outfits that they used for this perf- These outfits are sick. Sick. I'm here for it. Performance. It fits the concept and sound of the song which included marching band etc way better than those potato sacks. I love these that outfits. They made by boys wear. Like how can you dress them up in black swan outfits? Which do I have to mention? Well literal perfection with the on outfits that did- I like the way this has been done. The fact that BTS are in different colours from the dancers because it makes them stand out. If everyone was in the same kind of like naval uniform vibe, it would blend too much. So I like it. Did no member justice. The black and jeans. Like, seemed... come on, Thickums, sexy daddy Thickums RM in this final blazer. Who doesn't want that? Who does not want that? Once were the only outfits that I like from this whole era. Sex. See. What in the world <laughs> was those oh my God. Outfits <laughs> that they used for a couple of their stages? Dance the Night Away mm. had such a cute beachy concept and there was so much that could have been done with the style. I mean, and not gonna lie some ways. of the stages were actually cute like the full white ones but the others, not so much. From the weird colour theme to the unflat. I don't think they're bad, it's just like a very simple vacation outfit. It's not really like stage worthy. Do you know what I mean? Entering dresses. It just seemed like they wasted an opportunity mm. to give twice. Iconic outfits. But at the end of the day, we all know that Twig was a 2140 pixel group with a 144 pixel company. So what else do we expect? My expectations from JYP are shorter than Shi Young's balls <laughs> for this era. Any <gasps> Eunice, don't hold back, girl. Oh my god. I have mixed opinions on Dance the Night Away. I can agree to a certain extent. The outfits are a bit meh. I don't really feel like they're stage worthy. I can understand like where they're going with them, like the whole like vacation-y look, like the crochet moment, but you could have done something so much better. Like think of alcohol-free. The fashion in that era 
slapped and that had the same kind of like vacation summery vibe to it. So what's this? Do you know? Anyways, let's move towards the next one. No, I love this. The era required the styling to be a little edgy to fit the vibe better, but I just didn't find the crop tops that I comfortable. I mean, I would have preferred the styling. E Why do companies always give their shyest members the most revealing outfits that like you can clearly see they're uncomfortable? Even better, if the boys were comfortable, but since they weren't that comfortable, I mean, this is not Kai my did not look uncomfortable in that little crop ones, moment for me, but. but... Give them some points for the makeup and hair because it fit the vibe of the song really well. Obsession for me is one of my favorite ever EXO songs, EXO MVs. I'll leave my reaction to that in the description box and also my EXO marathon, which was my previous upload. You can go check that out. I agree on a level, people shouldn't be given outfits that are too revealing and then make them feel uncomfortable. No one wants that. And I suppose when you're performing, you're not thinking that much about it. You're thinking about the performance aspect, but when you are just like, you know, like backstage or like whatever, and you're like in a crop top with like half your torso out. I can understand that when it comes in. But for me, Kai didn't look uncomfortable in the outfit. I love that era. If they felt uncomfortable, then not cool. Not shy. I love the styling of this era. Sira was a whole roller coaster ride in my opinion. <laughs> the outfits were not that bad if you look at them individually, but when you look at all of them as a group, they were not coordinating well with each other. I like the outfits that they used in stages more than the ones in the actual music video. Mm, I can see their point, but I also disagree with their point. I really love the styling from Not Shy, and I like the fact that it kind of clashed and for me the fact that it clashed was the aesthetic was the visual concept so again it's all subjective it all comes down to personal taste but i really really liked it like those white outfits with high ponytails just didn't do it for me i they love those cheap for some reason but the girls of course still rock them yeeja's oh. peacock dress rajan's pants with a leopard print Chiang shorts, Yuna's this whole look, and whatever they did to her hair, Lyra's asymmetrical pigtails, which I made me remind her you how like that. Sana as well a long time ago. <laughs> it was just not doing the girls any justice, but there were outfits that looked great on them, so this era was like a 50. 50 for me in terms of styling. <laughs> Maybe I've bad taste. <laughs> Maybe I've bad taste. I love Not Shy. Who knows? I mean, I liked it, whatever. What in the grandma looking world are those dresses? Ooh, I'm not familiar I swear with this those group. were the most non cohesive set of outfits given to a group I have ever seen. Like, look at them slaying HWA with vocals, raps, stages, and the oh, damn outfits. No. So the high low dress. Gradual progress. Oh, that was a but the stylists really did G Idol dirty for Hanera by giving them these old grandma clothing. <laughs> Remember that viral Sijin Fancom? That was from the same era. Can't believe Again, they're they not really bad, but they're not great. Like, I don't get it for the stage. Deserved. Better. Han deserved better. All of the six members deserved better. One more thing added to my list of suing Cube Entertainment. It's just too you... much. Like, all of the prints coming together. And it's not like they're the same colour as well. Like, it, like where you, I've paused it now, you can see, like, the navy blues and the blacks. And then behind it, you've got the very warm brown and red palette. Like, that together on stage is a lot for the eye to take in, especially if it's all printed. So it's just too busy. Why Not Era was as a whole not disappointing in either. terms of styling because of the many types of themes that BBC started to merge. First of all, what are those ugly ass cowboy outfits? Some girls look good, but all the credit goes to Already girls. Already there's like so many different vibes. Because they did zero justice to any of them. Out of all the cowboy outfits, I found this to be the worst every time. Like they are trying so hard but yet failing. Look at what an absolute goddess she looked in the so what era. But y'all did her dirty this time. <laughs> But anyways, who in their minds thought the that best. it would be a good idea to put cowboy outfits with prom dresses along what? with... What? Let, let's just go back. ...that it would be a good idea to put cowboy out... So, this is one era, and we have the cowboy moment. 
which isn't great. Fits with prom dresses a lot. And then we have this like gothic prom moment. What? Along with these white overalls with the biker inspired what? outfits, like none of them make sense with each other. On the contrary, when you look at their dressing for the B-side that Luna performed along with Why Not, voice the outfits I just look don't great get and the why there's like color on so many different really styles within opinion. one comeback. As much I as don't. I love this song, I hate this era's styling just as much. I've not seen the styling the from this era. I'm familiar with the song, familiar with the Nicki Minaj version, not familiar with the MV or any of the stage looks. So this is interesting for me. Set of outfits that I actually liked, other than that most of the outfits were just a no from me. Did they fit the concept? I guess, but did they fit my taste? No. And from the responses of that form, I'm assuming that many of you didn't like this era's styling either. Mm. Do you all remember the outfits from their award show performance where they all walk a re in traditional clothes? This yeah, is something cool. Something similar to those outfits. But this, I like the suits that we saw in this clip, like the colorful pattern suits, but the rest of the outfits are like crazy or in that same intense. Spectrum would have been a better approach for the era styling, in my opinion. Like we've got tracksuit bottoms with tassels around the knee and the ankle and then we've got shorts with tassels around them and then track pants worn underneath like it's just the styling's a bit bizarre shall we say i'm filming shush the styling's just a bit bizarre on this one i've i'm curious i'm gonna have to go watch some performances from this era because Ooh, interesting. Very interesting. Not to my taste, but it's interesting to see them in a completely different vibe from what I would have ever expected. Summer's debut song Birthday was one of the most anticipated debuts of After I owe its disbandment. Not gonna lie, she slayed with the song. But what in the Peacock Nation were those dresses and ugly ass curtains attached to them? Yeah. Each dress had something hanging from it, which would just make the dress look worse weird. than it would have looked without it. Also, since she is in black label, I would expect something more <laughs> fancier, more on the high end side, something that gives off that rich kids vibe lol. But rich all of the outfits vibes. were just not it. I think they're trying to give off the rich kids vibe with like the drop earrings, the jewelry, the gloves, but then it's the fact they've laid like the t-shirt, the bustier, and then she's got like the skirt or the shorts with the long piece of fabric. It's just weird. They made her look like a Mathurfican peacock in some of those outfits. The Sierra could have been so much more prettier. If it they really had just could have. More youthful it's and just weird. Like this outfit, like the heeled like sneakers to the knee and then the shorts with that t-shirt and then like the metallic blue leather corset over the top is just a bit weird. Those unflattering dresses. Black Mamba, first, no. First, the girls are gorgeous. The more I'm looking into them, the more they get prettier. Especially Ning Ning and Giselle. But the outfits, oh god oh, SM didn't have to do them that dirty. <laughs> If you are subscribed to this channel, you know that I am an Esper stan. I love Esper, probably my favorite female group. And this dress is not great. I've not really revisited the Black Mamba era since I reacted to that. And that was my first Esper action. So I'm more familiar with like the next level styling, the Savage, Dream Come True. So this is an interesting one to look back on. What in the shower robe looking world was that Ning Ning outfit? All the stages were so weird. The dresses were either pretty, but were so yeah, short that the girls seemed the place, uncomfortable or the dresses were just straight up ugly. I hope they had went with something like the outfits they chose for the t exactly. tech version of their that Black Mamba dance practice or this something is more like similar the to K's dance now, at least anyway. Yeah. I really like these outfits with the tassels because I really like how they moved and it was like black and white and it looked great the under the lights. It made more sense because of the involvement of Element. But that the, yeah. That could the concept appear more AI-ish. But anyways, I'm really looking forward to them in the future. I mean, I think the thing is though, when a group debuts, they are 
going to be experimenting with different styles. Arguably, we could say that's what happened with NCT Firetruck as well, and they're both SM groups. At least none of the Esper girls ended up with like fried, wild, crazy, crazy, crazy hair, but... Playing I have fire. a genuine question. Why do all of the great songs get the most stupidest outfits? <laughs> like, make it make sense. The song would be an absolute banger, but you will see one of the group member wearing a bedsheet. <laughs> <gasps> a unist is actually fucking Plus, killing me. And one in a weird dress with six colors that don't go well together. For playing with fire, I'm assuming with the selection of outfits by the stylists, that they were going for a more colorful look with loads of skirt action going around. And felt like ruffles were also a good idea. But oh. I have no words for this outfit. Lisa. Lisa, no wonder why Lisa did her own styling for La Lisa and picked the looks because I see so many comments every time I do Blackpink fashion videos and people like Lisa gets the worst outfits. The stylist has it out for Lisa. She gets the worst looks. Oh boy, oh, they failed with those bedsheet looking shirts. Sometimes one or two girls will look really good individually, but when you look at them as a whole, the vibe would be very non cohesive. Also, can I please know why did they do Lisa's hair that way? The darker blonde in roots and lighter blonde in the bottom was just not a good look, in my opinion, but she somehow managed to pull it off very well. I mean, Lisa's beautiful. Anyways, so guys, that's pretty much it for this. I don't think playing with fire is the worst styling at all that we've seen in this video. I agree that some of the looks as a group are uncohesive and kind of all over the place and it is a bit like too much of like the ruffled shirts of the high necks and the skirts so it is a bit wild especially compared to like the styling you see blackpink in now they always look insane this video i hope you all don't get offended with my opinions I in no way claim that I have a good fashion taste, but I just wanted to make this video cause I thought it would be fun. This video was a lot of fun, Eunice. Thank you so much for making this video. And fashion is subjective. We're all gonna have different opinions. I'm sure some of you are gonna love the styling from some of these eras in the comments. I think <laughs> the worst era in this video is NCT Firetruck. And I think it's just because of like, the hair and how much the outfits clash like ooh, nct have come a long fucking way jesus christ <laughs> please let me know in the comments what you think is the worst styling era from this video i'm curious to know and also let me know if you want to see a more detailed review reaction of the NCT Firetruck era. What you should do next is go check out my EXO marathon where I react to Growl, Call Me Baby, Monster and Lotto. I'll leave it linked up here as well as in the description box. But thank you so much for watching. Thank you to Eunice for making this video. It was so much fun. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.